Hi there. Hope everyone is having a good time. Acne is a pretty common skin condition. It can cause so much stress and anxiety. There are different types of treatment for acne. It could be topical creams, solutions and sometimes some procedures can help with acne. Additionally, there are different oral medications that can help with acne. The most recent guidelines suggest the use of spironolactone as treatment for acne. Spironolactone is a diuretic medication. It means it acts on the kidney and it is most commonly used for high blood pressure. Two important things about spironolactone is that it is a potassium sparing diuretic and it has anti-androgenic effects. Anti-androgenic effects cause the blockage of androgen receptors in the body. It means that it prevents the actions of androgens like testosterone. There was a recent retrospective review done at the Mayo Clinic in 2017. It involved around 400 adults looking at the spironolactone treatment for acne. The median age of the adults in the study was 32 years and it involved 100 mg of spironolactone per day. About two-thirds, that is around 66%, showed very good outcomes. The first response to the treatment was shown around 3 months and it took about 5 months for the maximum response. This study was done from 2007 to 2017, so for about 10 years. Patients did receive long-term treatment with median duration for about 13 months and during that time period, they had few side effects. Finally, they concluded that spironolactone is a very good treatment for acne. There was another study done in Las Vegas in 2012 that also concluded the use of spironolactone to be safe and effective for treatment of acne. From that study, they presented a pretreatment checklist before starting spironolactone. This checklist looked at if the patients are pregnant, breastfeeding, or using oral contraceptives with drosperinone. Also, spironolactone to be avoided in patients with family history or personal history of breast cancer and kidney disease, heart disease, especially congestive heart failure. Also patients with hypertension or using any other hypertensive medications or the use of antibiotics such as Bactrim or the use of lithium were in this checklist. Establishing baseline profile with a complete blood count and electrolytes is very important. Monitoring potassium levels regularly and monitoring circulating androgen levels by measuring free testosterone levels and dihydroepiandosterone sulfate or DHEAS levels every 3 to 4 months is recommended. However, if those values were normal at the baseline, regular monitoring may not be required. So the take-home point is that spironolactone can be a very effective treatment for acne provided that it is initiated after careful evaluation. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time with more exciting information.